What's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel and if you are new to the channel, please be sure to hit subscribe. We're going to be coming out with a ton of different videos uh, throughout the summer and beyond. Uh, fishing, you know, tackle stuff, whatever it might be. But we actually got a different video this go around. And as you can see, I got some big old boxes behind me. And what's in those boxes are actually Bass Mafia products. Um, just kind of re-upped. I've been running Bass Mafia stuff for, I don't know, the past three years or so. And uh, this is probably like the fourth year running their their stuff. Um, I've got super bad OCD and I love having my stuff organized. So Bass Mafia has made my life easier. They've got something for everything, uh, any kind of tackle storage whatsoever. Um, and it's just been a huge part of keeping me efficient on the water. So figured, why not? open these boxes with you actually you can probably tell they're already kind of open i got excited and just wanted to see what was in them but um with that being said we're going to start unboxing these things i'm going to show you guys what is in each one of these and the different bass mafia products that they hold so why don't we start small with the small box and work our way to the big one that'd be, that'd be exciting you know so uh if you look in here Nothing too much in this one, but pretty basic. So we got the ice box. These are like indestructible, literally. Like, that actually hurt my foot, kind of. But uh, the ice box is just like a super durable plastic material. I don't know exactly all it's made out of, but um, I've got these little ones. These are the smaller size. I'll use that for a variety of different things, you know, certain techniques that I've, I don't have as much of. Or also, I like using those for, um, I keep like a day box, if you want, if you will. Um, kind of keep like all my used hooks, uh, weights maybe, stuff like that, that I just kind of keep in a quick little box that I can get access to for like practice and just fun fish and stuff like that. So I'm not going through all my good new stuff. But moving on, uh, got a couple of the briefcases these things are awesome Let's see if i can get one open one-handed got that open if you look in there it's just it's like a little briefcase so what i'll do with these um they, they redid some of their stuff too so it's all like super durable zippers are awesome like all that good stuff new look uh the other ones are a little are like kind of black like this one here if you can see but um and more of like a suede material or not even suede but just like a canvasy and um yeah these are like real smooth i don't even know what material that is seems super durable though but it's a nice kind of deep pouch i store like big plastics in there anything like that but we got two of those so that's pretty awesome and exciting and uh moving on to box number two and door number two we have a variety pack so uh this one here, this looks like the little, so they just came out with a bud bag, and this one looks like the little one of it, so if I can get that open. Again, one-handed, look at that, <laughs> it did a full circle. But when you open that up, it's got all these different built-in pouches, like a three-ring binder kind of system in there. But these built-in pouches, I'm actually really excited to see these, um, I've been super excited about getting these, but... Uh, this is some really durable bags in there, but it comes with a whole bunch of them. Uh, I mean, you can put anything you want to in there, honestly. Like, uh, I know a lot of guys are putting in like chatter baits, jigs, spinner baits, all that kind of good stuff. But this thing is just super durable, built tough. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> the double barrel, the jerk bait holder. That's awesome. Um, I've got we've got one of these and. If you open it up here, as you can see, it gets the double barrel name. It's got two kind of barrels lined up, so it's kind of like a double barrel shotgun. But I'll use those. Um, if you look in there, you can comfortably fit two, maybe even in some scenarios, three like jerk baits or even top waters, uh, whatever else, spy baits, bladed jig, or not bladed jigs, but uh, blade baits, whatever, however you want to organize stuff. But um, there's see how many is there 12 no 10 10 times 2 is 20 so 20 times 2 that can hold comfortably 40 jerk baits doing math on the fly here and uh 
yeah, so you can hold a whole bunch of jerk baits. It's a very unique design. You can kind of keep them in their own slot so the hooks aren't getting banged up, all that kind of good stuff. Super important to have sharp hooks on jerk baits, so the less banging around, the better. But uh, moving on, a couple hats. Always got to keep it fresh with some swag. And then this one, this is a cool one. The blade coffin. So, this one's cool here. Spinner baits, chatter baits, you can put them all in these little baggies that it comes with on this um, stick support in there. And uh, super easy to open. Just kind of pinch each side. These ones are brand new, but uh, pinch each side. You can throw your bait in there, close them up, and they stay in there really good. I mean, you can literally take it, shake your baits upside down, all that kind of good stuff. They're not going to come out of there. But uh, another thing I like to do with these, actually, that my buddy Josh Douglas got me onto is he takes out this center bar, all these bags, and just has it straight open, and you can actually fit like a bulk size spool in there. I know the bar's in there, but you can fit three of those comfortably and even like a smaller spool on the side. So you can actually keep all the line you need to um, like right in there, and it's super convenient, super awesome. So there's a couple multi-uses for that. I mean, you can put tools in there, you can do whatever. This thing's durable, built tough, blade coffin definitely recommend it but oh and you can actually buy more of those bags that go in there and just extra bags so if you run out of room and I mean it comes with enough a lot in there I don't know how many exactly I think maybe like 20 or something but um, if you want more they sell the bags separately so that's super awesome and you can load that puppy up it's got a lot of room in there so more of that more of that um, Money bags. These are some little ones, so you can maybe, like, you know, do whatever you want with those, honestly. You can dump in big plastics in there, keep them in there a little more bulk, or whatever. But, also got big money bags. That's where the real money's at. No, but, real big ones. Stuff like that. I like to keep, like, those those paddle tail swim baits and stuff like that in these big ones, because those, a lot of people, I know, are trying to find a good system to keep their paddle tails and they um you know that packaging is just so hard to store so those money bags especially the big ones you can hold a whole bunch of them but these things are like super indestructible you can yank on them pull on them do whatever you want and they ain't gonna break so super durable waterproof zipper in there you can keep everything watertight all this stuff has a waterproof um like rubber lining around the boxes stuff like that so it's all gonna keep your gear safe and dry stickers back to the swag Got to represent, um, let's see here, more money bags, we got like the normal size, this is probably my favorite, most used size, it's kind of medium, same concept, same deal, got a few of them in there, and the big bud bag, this one's, this is the real MVP right here, Ugh, okay. Sorry for the camera work. This is probably going to be a interesting one, but it's hard to unbag all these with one hand while I hold the camera. I thought about trying to do a hat cam or something, but I feel like I just never know if I'm looking at the right thing for some reason. Um, there we go. Okay, bud bag. Thing is sick. Spinner baits, jigs, whatever you want to do. Again, the three ring binder system, super durable, watertight bags. Your stuff's going to be safe. This bag, super tough, super high quality. So that one. Mm. And can't forget the little guy. What do you guys think this is? I know exactly what this is. Pop that open. That is for your SD cards. Isn't that sick? Keep your SD cards in one little quick slot. Look at, they, I don't know if you can see this in the video, but they even got for the micro SD and the big SDs. So you can keep all your lake maps, anything like that. GoPro chips, whatever, all in one spot. This thing's super tiny. Look at that. I don't got big hands, but it's like a ha handle of a hammer or something. And uh, that'll fit anywhere, keep stuff safe. That one is sweet. Cool coloring, too. That is box number two. Let's move on to the big Haas. This one I'm excited about. Probably the stuff I use all the time on the day-to-day. -day. 
but uh, got the line bag. If you open this one up, if you look in here, it's got little compartments or slips for just like a normal size spool of line and you have the line feeding holes so you can actually keep them in there, spool up your lines. I keep leader line and stuff like that in there all the time. Um, if you're not running like big bulk spools, this thing's awesome. It's a soft plastic bag, so uh, you know, kind of fits anywhere in the boat. Keeps your line safe too, out of the sun, out of all that good stuff. You don't want to wear and tear. The most valuable thing, which is fishing line, because that, that's ultimately what gets the fish in the boat, right? But moving on. Bait Casket 2.0. These things are the money-making, day-to-day, most relied on box I use. Um, it's got four latches, keeps it real tight. It's got a waterproof ceiling all the way around. And the cool thing about the 2.0, it actually comes with all these dividers built in, in there, or, or actually just already placed in there. So you can pull one out, organize it how you like to. I do so many different things with these boxes. Put everything and anything into them, all the way even to some soft plastics that aren't very scented or something like that, that I use a ton of. Um, I just keep them in boxes like this because uh, you can just, I'm going through them all the time and stuff like that. And I like to keep a couple slots for like some new colors if I want to experiment, all that kind of good stuff. Um, because it's just quick, easy access and I love it. And I think you can fit a lot more, especially putting some soft plastics in there and stuff like that. These boxes just are a perfect fit for everything. So got a few of those, get those out of there. Um, and if you get little ice boxes, you gotta get a big one. So same kind of concept. These actually come again, pre-divided, but they're a little more finer spacing. So you can actually fit or you know, devote smaller spaces, hold a lot more things like terminal tackle, stuff like that is a great deal to put in these, whatever it might be, but uh, pretty awesome boxes. And what I'll do is like when I do take those little dividers out, I'll keep like a little Ziploc baggie or something like that, or a little container just full of them so I can always sit there tinkering with my organization ways. But uh, got more ice boxes. This one, again, same kind of concept as the ice box. These things are super durable, built tough. But this is the bait casket. Um, again, it's just the original bait casket, not see-through, nothing like that. Um, so I will actually dictate a few things. With I almost color organize it. So like I'll, I'll I'll keep a lot of like jigs or something or soft plastics in those bait casket 2.0s but these ones here i'll devote to like my hard baits or something like that so i know kind of quickly reaching in i usually label i'll get a label maker and you know print stuff off to label everything so i know what's in there but um it's kind of how i do that but i mean anything and everything another just good box and you guys it's just such good quality like seriously like i don't know if i'm just weak or what because i hurt my hand and more and more, more bait caskets, um, terminal coffin, this one's sweet, for all you guys that like to keep your terminal tackle or have gone through that headache, this is the box for you, got this first front row, like a normal bait casket, then you have these different dividers. So these ones here, here you can actually just, you can take them out, they fit in there, look at they're notched and everything, so they fit, they stay in there. And you can actually fit your hooks in these foam dividers. So you can keep your hooks all separate. They're not banging around, they're getting dulled up, nothing like that. And same deal with these. They actually got different weight sizes, so bigger hole for the bigger weights, obviously smaller for smaller, but you can keep anything like drop shot weights, bullet weights, whatever weights um, in there and it's going to keep them all from chipping the paint all that kind of good stuff i don't know how many times i have opened up my tackle box and there's literally i'm just i'm always trying to find new ways to go about organizing stuff and um, constant trial and error but a lot of times when you got painted weights and you open up the box and they're all banging around they're half painted and you got a bunch of just little paint chips sitting in the bottom of your box and it drives me nuts 
Got a, another terminal coffee. Um, but uh, then, another good one. Another bait casket, but it's the deep version. So same concept, just a little deeper. I mean, stuff like, you know, just either bigger crankbaits, more top water, just baits you have a lot of, frogs, whatever it might be, just where you're really piling in those um, a little bit. That deeper box is really nice. You know, I, I'll, I'll keep a lot of original packaging on jig heads and stuff like that too, where, you know, I'll use a box like that so I can actually fit the whole package because it's so deep you can just slide it in there sideways. So that's kind of cool. And last but not least is... I'm dropping stuff. Oh, can't fit my hand around it. See, I told you I got small hands. Uh, the deep cranking coffin. So this one's cool. So when you open this up, it's got it's the same concept, same depth as like the deep bait casket, but um, it's got a super tall top on it. So what that's going to do is actually give you guys like the like for those big bills and those deep diving crankbaits, you can actually sit them straight up so the bill's hanging, pointing up. So when you shut this, they're going to be all separated individually, quick, and easy to grab too. I can't tell you how many times the hooks and stuff like that when you're digging in a crankbait box and you go to grab one and they're all, and you're just sitting there jiggling them, trying to unhook them, just doing whatever with that headache. You can grab the bill, super easy, just pull them right out, clean as a whistle, and you're ready to rig it up. So that's what I got in this, this uh, order um, and super excited about it. Like I said, I am constantly, constantly looking for new ways to organize my tackle um, because it just keeps you efficient on the water and I've got OCD and I like my stuff organized, just keeps me clear headed when I'm out there. So uh, shout out to Bass Mafia. They've been making just awesome products. It's just super durable super long lasting and they've got super efficient revolutionary ways that they're you know helping people organize their tackle really good ideas coming from them so definitely check them out uh, i will include a link to their website if you want to check them out in the description but uh we'll kind of wrap that up here just thought i'd do a quick little fun video of me unboxing all this stuff got a new rod over there excited to open that but i think it's just one rod so maybe we'll just um i don't know if we'll do that for that but uh yeah Check them out, Bass Mafia.